Hey y'all, Alabama Grana coming at y'all. I wanna show y'all the cutest thing you can do to make your canning projects look beautiful when you give them away for gifts. Um, I saw these on Amazon and apparently people are home making these just like I'm about to show y'all how to do and then turn around selling them on Amazon. Um, what I want to show you is how to make these gorgeous, look, how pretty is this gonna be for a gift? You can write a name on here, you can write actually what you've canned on here but you do that on the top isn't that beautiful and you can get the different stamps at hobby lobby like at christmas time i've got this stamp that i'm going to use um i bought this one handmade with a heart this one as you can see was i think that says 4.99 i don't have my glasses on um but the Christmas one, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was only a dollar. And they have them in this time of the year. You know, it's Halloween and they're getting all their fun Christmas stuff in. But they have a slew of different stamps. You know, if you're going to give these away for wedding gifts, I mean, if you want to can stuff up and do it for your gifts for everybody when they come to your wedding, I'm sure they have stamps down at Hobby Lobby that's got hearts, doves, no telling what on them. May just say just married. I mean, it's a really cute idea for anybody that wants to do that. Also, I want to show y'all what i'm doing for christmas um i'm giving away to people this is a red ribbon got this at the dollar tree they sell the most and it, it just looks vintage to me it's very pretty you can also use the twine if you want to it looks really pretty on a can jar um but on these little tags for christmas for when i give them away to people i found these at hobby lobby 3.99 and it's got um 54 pieces in here. I'm gonna take the little snowflakes, the individual snowflakes, and I'm gonna glue them on the top corner of my tag, and then I'm gonna put the people's name that I'm giving them to. And that's gonna make it really pretty. Um, you could also hang a little small Christmas ornament from it. it I mean, it's endless things you can do. But before you put your little things on your jar, make sure that you put your date underneath with a marker of when you made it. Um, let me just show you real quick how to do this. You're gonna take one of your ball jar lids you're gonna lay it i got a pack of this craft paper for Hobby Lobby. i think it was 7.99 it was a big old pack um you're gonna take and lay this on here y'all over look that timer going off in the background i gotta get some food off the eye but you're just gonna draw around the outside of your ball jar lid and i found it's easier i was you can see trying to cut out off of the whole sheet I found out it's easier just to go ahead and choo, 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 cut that square out. It does a lot easier. But when you go to cut it out, cut around the very inside of the line. So we're just going to cut out around that inside. And I'm almost doing this blind, y'all, because I don't have my glasses on. And I can't see with a flip-flop flip without my glasses. But we're going to cut around the inside of that line like so. This makes your jars look so much like, I don't want to say professional, but yeah, it makes them look really good. And it don't have to be perfect, y'all. If you go to put it in your jar lid and it don't fit, trim it down. See, that is not a perfect circle. It's a wimp whop retarded one. But uh, next thing you're going to do, first you're going to check, make sure it fits. See, fits great. Looks good. Then you're going to take your stamp pad. Got my stamp pad at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't that much. You can get them different places. You're going to take it. Push down real firm and get that ink on there real good. Then you're gonna take your little circle and go right in the middle of it. And again, push down really, really firm. Get that ink on there good. And then put it back in your jar lid. And look, how beautiful is that, y'all? Just a tip for y'all to know how to make your jars fancy for weddings, um, showers. Christmas gifts. That's what I'm doing. And it's going to be awesome. I think they're going to be beautiful and I think everybody's going to love them. At least I hope they do. So just wanted to show y'all how to make your product look cool, professional, and I don't know if you get into selling stuff, I mean, you could just probably have a stamp made that's personalized. I'd like to get me some to say Alabama Granite. I think that would be awesome. But just make sure when you buy your stamp, you may want to take a ball lid jar with you. That way you can see, okay, is that going to fit in there? See, if you take it to Hobby Lobby with you, or you're just going to swipe one off the shelf, go get one of their ball jars, unscrew the lid, check it out. That way, if you forget one, it's all good. But go over there to the stamp section, and you'll be able to see if it's going to fit and how it's going to look in your jar. 
So anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video. Y'all please like, um, share, subscribe, please. Um, trying to build my channel up and I hope I'm doing content that y'all enjoy. If y'all ever have any questions, put them down in the comments. Um, I'm just here to try to teach the younger generations how to do stuff. Not that I'm all that smart and know everything, but I want to pass down to my children and my grandchildren. That's mainly what this channel's for, is to pass it down where when I'm long gone, they can look back and be like, okay, how did grandma do this? And they can look up the recipes or the neat little things I did. So anyways, much love to y'all. And just remember, if I can do it, y'all can do it.